Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to Geekazoid Tech. I'm Dan Rivera. In this uh, in this episode of Geekazoid Tech, I want to go ahead and uh, uh, bring up a program that I use to copy websites in case I need to uh, either download them or uh, if I don't have access to them. Now, this is not to hack websites. This is uh, I'm going to give my disclaimer right off the bat. Uh, this is not to a uh, hacking tool. This is a website copier that I've used for years and years. It's free, totally free. You don't have to pay for it. I'll have the uh, the link below in the description so you can download it. Generally, what WinHTTrack does is it actually downloads all the files pretty much that are on the uh, the website itself. I'm going to show you how to do that today. Now, um, I'm going to bring up WinHTTrack. Okay, WinHTTrack is a program that'll actually go in and, uh, like I said, download the websites. So you can um, you can just go ahead and save it a name here. I'll just do Geekazoid Tech, and you'll see exactly uh, you'll see what kind of category it is. There's no category. Uh, I'm gonna save it in in a different spot here, so you can see. Um, it'll just stay in my websites here. Okay, and you click next. Okay, then what you do is you add a URL, which I'm gonna add www.geekazoidtech.com. Okay, authentication only if needed. Uh, we'll just capture URL and we'll allow access to it, of course, because Windows likes to to ask about that. We'll avoid that and we'll just click OK. So what we're going to do now is we're going to click Next. All right, and we're not going to use we're going to use Do Not Connect or Already Connected. Okay, we're going to disconnect when finished. Don't uh, use this shut down PC when finished because uh, it'll, of course, turn you off your computer. So these are gen the generalized. Uh, uh, okay, that, this is giving me a problem here. Uh, we'll just keep uh, keep uh, um, keep our settings here, and uh, we'll continue on. And uh, we're going to remote connect. We're going dis to disconnect when finished. Just keep gen the generalized settings here, guys. And uh, it's going to download pretty much everything. We're gonna let it transfer. It's gonna transfer. It's gonna ask you to delete empty project cache. Just hit OK, and then finish. Then we will go into. We'll, we'll go ahead and uh, minimize the WinHT track here, and we'll go into my websites. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about here. And uh, let's see. Actually, we'll go in this way here. Uh, let's see here. It's under my website. Okay, it's under local disc C. We're going to go to under local disc C. Computer. Local disc C, my websites. Okay, you're going to see a folder here for Geekazoid Tech, of course, alright? This is pretty much everything uh, that it has to offer. Go into the uh, geekazoidtech.com and you'll be able to see the index file. There it is. Now, of course, it's not going to download everything, uh, such as PHP and things like that. So what's going to happen is uh, uh, we're going to go into the cache, things like that. It, it, normally, what it does is it downloads everything here on onto into the folder. Normally, okay. So you know, back blue is uh, one of my, one of my backgrounds at this point. And it's not coming up here. But you'll see exactly since I was I'm behind a proxy, it's not going to really work. I have to put the proxy settings in for our, where I'm at here. Um, but there's a there's a you, you know, under geekazoidtech.com it'll download everything. You'll see pictures. You'll see all kinds of stuff in into this folder. So that's about it, guys. Uh, WinHTTrack. Uh, you'll be able to go to winhttrack.com. Okay, and then uh, when you go to h one uh, dot com, it'll go to the website copier, 
okay and then you go to, to click on download then depending on which version you have uh, Windows 7 XP etc etc you click on download it that's it for now have a great day guys